If you've been looking for a performance PLA that won't break the bank, then Matter 3D Professional PLA might be the filament you've been looking for. Hey, I'm Richard with The First Layer, and on this channel, we do 3D printing tutorials, reviews, and live streaming videos that help you get the most out of your 3D printer. So if that's something that you're into, make sure to subscribe and check the bell to get notified so you don't miss any of our future content. PLA filament is by far the most popular material used in 3D printing, and there's a good reason for that. It comes in many shades and styles, making it ideal for a wide range of applications. Whether you're looking for vibrant colors or unique blends, it's an easy to use and aesthetically pleasing material. Be sure to stay to the end of this video to get my tips for 3D printing with PLA. For those of you that are new to 3D printing, let me explain what PLA is. PLA is short for polylactic acid, a thermoplastic polymer that's derived from renewable resources, more specifically from cornstarch or sugarcane. This sets the material apart from other commonly used plastics, which are procured through the distillation and polymerization of non-renewable petroleum reserves. Since PLA filament is a biodegradable product, it tends to naturally break down in about three to six months. Other thermoplastic materials can take up to thousands of years to decompose, making PLA much more environmentally friendly. PLA material has been thrust into the spotlight by the rise of FDM 3D printing. PLA filament is available in a wide variety of colors and blends, and innovative PLA-based materials seem to be constantly hitting the market. Outside of 3D printing, PLA is also used to produce things like medical implants, food packaging, and disposable tableware. But inside of the FDM 3D printing sphere, PLA filament is widely thought of as an aesthetic material best used for prototyping. So what about Matter 3D PLA filament makes it so special? Well, Matter 3D is a Canadian-owned and operated family startup manufacturing industrial-grade materials for 3D printing. Based in Victoria, British Columbia, the husband and wife team that started Matter 3D both hold PhDs in material science, so when it comes to the end product, you can be sure that it has been thoroughly researched and tested. Matter 3D makes their own filament using high-speed extrusion lines and precision 5-axis gauges to ensure their material meets the highest standards of quality. They also source the raw materials domestically from reputable suppliers such as NatureWorks, Dow, LG Chemicals, among others. Not all PLA filament is created equal, and I say that because I've used a lot of different brands over the years for a variety of projects. The features that make this filament stand out for me, other than being Canadian made, is that it has a high heat deflection temp greater than 85 degrees Celsius. It's FDA approved, making it food safe and can be annealed for greater part strength with little shrinkage. And it's durable. As with any new filament, I like to print a temperature tower to see where I get the best layer adhesion as well as bridging. You can find a link on how to do a material temp tower here and in the description below. In the case of this one, I had determined that between 205 and 210 degrees is the optimal temp to print at in my lab and studio. Now this is going to be different for every user. By printing a temp tower, it will give you all the information that you need to get a successful print. When I made the statement that not all materials are created equal, it's because not all manufacturers use the same ingredients. Low cost and econo blends tend to have other added materials to cut the cost of the more expensive pure resins. As we can see here, the white PLA retains its color. Unlike other low cost options, it may come out discolored due to the foreign materials in the blend being cooked out by the hot end. This makes the professional white PLA great for lithophanes and other products that have to have a pure white look. Droid build anyone? What are the benefits of PLA filament? For starters, PLA filament is known to be extremely easy to print with. The material will generally flow out of your 3D printer's nozzle without any issues such as warping or nozzle clogging. On top of that, the print temperature for standard PLA filament is relatively low compared to other materials, making it more versatile and convenient to print with. 
as with any other brands like Protopasta, Arion, and 3D Fuel that have higher concentrations of pure resin, M3D needs to be printed at a higher temperature than regular filaments. This is why it's crucial to print a temperature tower first so you can dial in the correct hot end temp. So why would I want to choose Matter 3D PLA filament over other brands? Well, for starters, M3D is the only Canadian manufactured 3D printing filament. They use raw materials sourced in North America from industry leading manufacturers. Performance PLA is FDA approved for food and beverage applications. It's stronger than most PLA and PLA plus filaments on the market right now. Professional PLA has a clean gloss finish, making it ideal for end use parts. It doesn't discolor when printed like lower quality or bargain brands. And finally, most PLAs will soften and fall apart in temperatures greater than 65 degrees Celsius. M3D's Pro PLA will withstand temperatures greater than 85 degrees Celsius and with annealing up to 130 degrees Celsius. This Pro PLA is ideal for any DIY expert that wants to print and use everyday end use parts. Before I get into the tips for printing with PLA, I'd like to know if you're getting value out of this video by leaving a comment below and smashing that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking the bell for more videos just like this one. If you made it this far in the video, let me say thank you. As a bonus, I'm going to share with you some helpful tips for printing with PLA. I'll also link to some of our past videos at the end. Now, first and foremost, increasing the number of perimeter outlines for your PLA prints will create a strong bond between each layer, creating stronger parts that are less prone to breaking. This is a great tip for any filament, but is especially useful for PLA, which often contains different combinations of additives, depending on the manufacturer. These different additives can lead to variations in printing temperature between 190 to 230 degrees Celsius. If you're not printing at the right temperature, this can lead to several print quality issues, including oozing, stringing, and under extrusion. PLA can also be com combined with different fills like metal, wood, and fiber that give it a different characteristic than a standard homogenous PLA. These may require different settings or even different hardware. Be sure to check with the manufacturer of your filament to verify the optimal temperatures to use with your specific filament. If you have any trouble with stringing, try reducing this temperature by five to 10 degrees, which will help prevent the excess oozing. Now, if you're struggling with under extrusion, try increasing the temperature by 10 degrees so that the material will flow more easily through the nozzle. Now, the first layer is the most important part of any print. There are few things you need to do to get the first layer to stick well. Your print bed or print surface needs to be level. You need the nozzle to be the correct distance from the bed at the start of your print. Cooling is one of the most important aspects of printing with PLA. Having a dedicated part cooling fan makes a huge difference in the quality of the printed parts. Now, the freshly extruded plastic needs to cool down before the glass transition temperature as quickly as possible. This will prevent the plastic from stringing and producing other artifacts. We recommend setting the fan to 100% throughout the print, except for the first one or two layers, where you want to form a strong bond with the print bed. And finally, print bed temperature. PLA can be printed on 3D printers without a heated bed, but it's recommended that you use a printer that has one to ensure that you're going to get the best material to bed adhesion as possible. Now, bed temperatures need to be above the glass transition temperature. So 45 to 60 degrees Celsius usually works fine depending on the surface you're printing to. Now, M3D PLA is 60 degrees Celsius glass transition temperature. So between 60 and 75 degrees Celsius is perfect for this filament. Question of the day, what would you use M3D professional PLA for? Leave your comment down below. For pricing and availability, check the link in the description for more information. Please leave your comment below and smash that like button. If this was your first time checking out my channel, then consider subscribing and becoming a member. 
I publish new videos on Saturday at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And on Sundays, I do a live stream called Ask for Help with my co-host and friend, Brian Baker, at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Members get some cool perks. Check them out below by clicking the Join button. Now, you can check out some of these videos that will help you when you're printing with PLA. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.